couple of requests. Make sure you support quality content by hitting that subscribe button right there. For exclusive Alabama film study content and recruiting news, make sure you get on over to patreon.com slash Alabama Scheme Team so you can join up and become a member. You'll also get access to an exclusive Alabama radio show. Let's get it on. All right, y'all, top billing to you. Man, terrible news coming out of Tuscaloosa with the tie that my main man, Terrell Lewis, Terrell Hall Lewis, will not be playing for a significant amount of time as he has torn his ACL. And man, devastating news when you think about the plight of the edge players for Alabama, uh, especially last year, if you know, if you think about it last year with both Lewis and Christian Miller being hurt. Um, and we saw the impact when those two gentlemen came back, especially with Lewis. Now, Christian Miller, I'm not a huge fan of. I, I think that he, while he looks the part, I'm not sure if the production is there for him. Well, I know the production's not there. And I'm not sure he can be that alpha, alpha male type guy like a Terrell Lewis can be. Um, we know that there are some guys that are coming in, or one in specifically in Ayabi Anoma coming in that maybe be able to do something. But, man, when have we seen true freshmen really take over a, a defensive spot? along the front seven. You know, some of the best defenders there have had to wait their turn and have been brought along slowly. So there are some other guys on the roster, one in particular here that I'm going to break down and show you exactly why I think that he could be the one that's the field Terrell Lewis's spot. But, man, this is what I liked about Terrell Lewis. Well, I'm not sure he was going to be a superstar edge player in a, when it comes to rushing the passer. I'm not sure he could get you double-digit sacks. I don't think he's that type of player. I do think he's a very complete player. A uh, very athletic guy, uh, one of those kind of six, seven technique guys that can set the edge, play contain, uh, work flat duty type stuff, can work from a motorcycle stance, can put his hand in the in the ground and get it upfield too. But he can play the run on the way to the pass. So that's definitely something I like here. Here's a, a, a play that really illustrates uh, how good he was. All right, we see him right here. We're in second and six here. It looks like Georgia is in 13 personnel here, one back, three tight ends. So you know this is about to be some type of bludgeoning play. So if you see Bama here, got their elephant personnel in here. We have your your normal 30, 30 front here, which is zero technique. Well, actually, no, you don't have a zero technique. So these guys are playing a little bit different here. So you got some gappers there. So it's up to those linebackers to really feel there if it's – an inside run here. So you got Rashawn Evans here, Mac Wilson here. But you got Christian Miller right here over Isaac Nada. Then we got my man T. Lou right here. The cursor would work um, with these two players here, Jeb Blazevich and Jackson Harris for Georgia. So this is going to be a 90 flip play here going to the inside. So you kind of right here pretend like it's going – on kind of an inside dive, but then you flip it back out. So my man T. Lou, his job is to first play it down, squeeze it down. He's going to squeeze down, and then he has to play the flat, you know, because it's just him and uh looks like uh, Anthony Averett out here, the cornerback. So let's see how they operate with this bad boy. All right, so – you see it right here. You got the pulling lineman here. So this is going to take odd discipline from these guys right here. And if you see Terrell Lewis, his first step is you got Jeb Blazevich slanting inside. So he's going to want to squeeze him down. So this will make Anthony Everett more the contained player, which is a no no because he's got a big six foot five, two hundred and fifty pound tight end right here. So he's squeezing down right here. Then he's going to redirect and bounce it back to the to the boundary right here. So let's check it out. Boom. Nice motion right there by Jake Fromm. Opens it up, pitches it out to Nick Chubb. Big freak right here. And your man, look at T. Lou. Let's just look at him here on the, at the beginning of this right here. Boom. He collapses the pocket. Jeb Blazevich gives him some right there. Gives Jeb Blazevich some. Twists his spine up a little bit. Now, look. The pass is already in motion. It's already pitched. You already got your pitch going here on this 90 flip. And your man Terrell Lewis is engaged right here. Watch how quick he redirects and reacts to this. Boom, right there. He's like, okay, boom, I'm back in the flat. We see Anthony Avery right here being molested. 
Uh, we know that he wasn't going to make this play, but that's a great design of a play here. Get a big tight end on a cornerback. So, boom. Look at this. Look how he runs this down right here. Stays parallel to the line of scrimmage. Look at that. Nowhere to go. Good job, by Anthony Avery, though. I will say that, too, to stay on the outside and, and, and have it bounce back to the inside, kind of funnel it back to the inside to the player. But your man T. Lou, boom, puts the stick on Nick Chubb right there. Boom. That's some good edge playing right there. A lot of people don't want to concentrate on sacks and stuff. This is the kind of stuff you want to concentrate on. It's definitely you want to concentrate on a, if you're an Alabama scheme team member. This is, kind of, this is how we get down right here. So let's look at it again. Boom, squeezes down, redirects. He's off to the boom. Nice hit on my man right here. That's sick. Let's check it out in full motion. Alabama football, man. All right, here's another example here. Uh, it looked like you're in some type of dime package, maybe a dime rabbits type package. And you have your rocket rusher here, Rashawn Evans, over here. But you have your man playing on the weak side of the formation. That would be one Terrell Lewis. And this is a third and 11. So anything goes here in the red zone. Um, Georgia here is an 11 personnel. So... You got the running back at death. You know that this could either be some type of pitch to this side, pitch to the weak side, or some type of inside zone, or some type of play action, um, targeting your two-man route combination over here, or perhaps some type of split zone with your H-back with the cross formation block over here towards the weak side. So it is the latter or the last one. Um, I believe it is a split zone. And um, watch how Terrell Lewis plays this bad boy here. So this is why this man right here is such a good player or such a good prospect because he does not have the production yet, but we can see the talent there. So, all right, let's roll this. All right, so boom, there you go. It's either a split zone. You could say it's a split zone, but if you see right here, when an unblocked defender being T. Lou, um, but you have a cross formation block as well here. So we can call this a, a read option split. You know, with the cross formation block, but he's an unblocked defender there, so they're optioning off of him. So you let that thing go on the inside. Now look at the odd discipline it takes here. You got a cross formation block here, but it's really a ghost because he's going on the outside there. Then you got the quarterback here keeping two, like it could be a keeper with a lead. Uh, Jake Fromm here with Isaac Nada leading, but they actually gave the ball off, and T. Lou recognizes that bad boy and stops Sony Michelle here for a short game. If, if any gain at all. I think it was one yard gain or something like that. So let's check that out again. Boom. Look at the 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 point of confusion here. Look at the 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 window. Look at the, the window dressing here. And boom, he takes that step. Just look at his steps right here. First step, he takes to the outside, kind of parallel, squaring himself up to the line of scrimmage. Then he's just reading right here. This is just some good eye discipline right here. He kind of stops right there to see, you know what I'm saying? He can see Isaac Nada doesn't have the ball, and he sees Jake Fromm doesn't have the ball either. So then his next step is back towards the inside of the line of scrimmage, and boom, tackles Sonny Michelle right there. Darn good player. All right, let's check that out. Full speed. <laughs> Alabama football, man. All right, y'all, my pick to fill one Terrell Lewis's shoes would be that of Anthony Jennings, who had himself a bit of a coming out party before getting injured at Clemson. And I think that he has a lot of the same makeup as Terrell Lewis, probably not a dynamic pass rusher, but definitely very good against the run and very heady, able to contain, work flat duty, and everything that you would like to see. And he has very much the same makeup with the eye discipline. They're teaching him very well up there at Tuscaloosa, or over there in Tuscaloosa. And um, he's definitely a, a clear example of that. So we see right here, my man, right there working. Um, I believe you have Deshaun here, Deshaun Hand there in a motorcycle stance. I got Raekwon Davis and Deron Payne here. But this is double O personnel, no backs, no tight ends. Uh, you got a big old freak in Kelly Bryant here at the quarterback position. And um, you got jet motion coming through right here. So the window dressing, it could be window dressing, but this is Clemson. So we know that this could possibly be some type of jet motion. 
So watch the eye discipline of Anthony Jennings right here. We'll let this go a little bit here. All right, so you got actually a running back here. So you still got treated like double O personnel, but the running back here could be running the speed, speed sweep. And you also have pulling, uh, your right guard pulling, and then you got your tackle pulling. So you got a tag pull right there, tackling guard pull. And look at him. Let's look at his his eye. Same kind of thing right here with Terrell Lewis. So he's able to, to read this, trying to get kind of parallel to the line of scrimmage, be able to get both of these guys. So it's a good rhythmic thing right here because if it were handed off, he could tackle the ball carrier. And if he were to keep this, you know that since it's a pulling guards here, the timing there is probably some type of counter. So it's a QB counter, um, QB power counter there. And my man has to read both of these guys and try to keep contained. So real quick, look, he noticed that the running back doesn't have the ball. He stays parallel to the line of scrimmage and squeezes down, stops Kelly Bryant for a loss. That was a darn good play right there, man. That You don't realize the type of discipline that it takes on something like that. Uh, those jet sweeps can get you, man, when you're on the line of scrimmage because you know you got to keep contained, especially if you have a fast guy like these guys have come in there. I believe that may be uh, Tavian Feaster, a Clemson running back there. But let's check it out once again. So, boom, that's the point of action right there. The option and off of him. Kelly Bryant's looking in at him, and he's kind of bending it to the outside. So, he's thinking, like, all right, this might actually just be a call QB pull. It's so, it actually is a call QB counter. So, this is just window dressing right here. The back knows he's not getting the ball. You can tell by his hands. He's not barely putting his hands up. So, this is all Anthony Jennings, Anthony Jennings right there rec recognizing. And he squeezes down on the line of scrimmage and stops the guy for a loss. All right, let's check that out in full speed. All right, here we go again one more time. Offset pistol here, 10 personnel. Um, everybody remembers the play when Big Duran playing got the interception. But, man, the interception is nothing to me compared to the what cause the interception so football is funny like that people tend to go to the results instead of what how the results were derived and it was definitely derived from this man right here playing on the strong side that would be one Anthony Jennings all right so check this out second and two uh you know right here you got pistol kind of an offset pistol he's at death so could possibly be an inside play here or some type of pitch you know or they could run with they brung and do a play action or something like this. So I check out the suddenness of Anthony Jennings, a little bit more athletic than he looks um, going against Tremaine Ancrum here. Uh, see what happens when you get in your quick set and you kind of, kind of try to help out here. You even got help from Travis Etienne jr. And he kind of steps up right here to catch the middle action. Then has the pill back, but he's too late. And Anthony Jen Jennings is coming screaming around the corner right here. So let's take a look. All right. Boom. So, all right. So, we see here a little bit of help here. Um, you would think he's a very talented player. He should be able to help here, then get back to be able to block here. So, he's got his eye on the Mike backer here or the inside linebacker here. So, and once he sees he's not coming, his, his next step is to go back outside and make sure nothing's coming. But, look, he plants his foot, and it's too late. Look at the attention right here. He's barely able to get a hand on Anthony Jennings. He's coming up, and he's barely able to get a hand on Anthony Jennings. And boom. Look at that. Look at that. Now that's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's getting to the quarterback organically. You didn't even need the blitz. You brought an extra man here. So it's a five-man rush, but you didn't really have to because they could have got it organically right here. So you got a little bit of a, of a, of a two-man game going on right here. Or more like your three technique, Raekwon Davis taking an outside move there. So you would expect somebody to come looping back around, though. So maybe the mic was supposed to fire, but he saw the pass. So we'll see it right there. But look at your man coming around the corner right here. Nice. Then, boom, get the intercession. Deron playing off to the races, making Travis ATM miss. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, so let's check it out one more time. Regular speed. <laughs> 